It's beer at o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Anchor Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Liberty Ale. Coming in at 5.9% ABV. It's the bottle cap. I'm a big fan of Anchor's beers. Really like their porter. I enjoy this steam beer. Nice smoke on the opening. And a few other beers from their kind of range you can find on our channel but here beer in the glass I'm let that settle a minute it's a nice golden color to this wow two fingers of white head but a lovely crisp clean looking IPA, it looks like an IPA, it really does look like an IPA, I'm, I'm not sure whether it, it is, I'm not one to jump on rape beer and, and, and scrutinise the beer, I like a little bit of a surprise, I like to be able to talk about a beer from my own experience, so let's get the aroma on this two finger white head beer with a nice golden colour to the look of it. Mmm, 5.9% ABV. And that smells fantastically hoppy. The reason why I called it an IPA earlier on was when I was talking about the look of the beard is, is that I could get a sense, I could smell them, them hops coming through. It's, it's lovely, it's like a bouquet of flowers, it's floral. Slightly sweet smelling, not as flowers smell sweet, but that's just the malt, the balance of the malt coming through also. Then you've got that pininess. It smells great, I'm going to dive in, cheers. Yes, 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 this beer, wow, what a big, full-on taste. Naturally carbonated beer, so must be bottle conditioned, unless it's naturally carbonated in the brewer. Apparently they, they put this in their cellars for a while, this particular beer, to... Yeah, to, to, it's an entirely natural carbonation process. So whether it goes on in the, in the bottle or whether it goes on at the brewery, it's not forced carbonated. Not so 100% natural beer. That's what I like. I like to review these beers. Let's get some more of this taste. It's quite dry. But it's very crisp. It's like a samurai sword of a crispness. It's, ooh, it's cutting edge, cutting edge crispness. Lovely and bitter. The bitterness on this beer is absolutely strikingly massive. Really is. It's got to be up there 60, 70 IBUs. Really. Piney, pithy, lemony, grapefruity, mangoey bitterness. But again, there's flavour with that bitterness. It's just not bitter for the sake of being bitter. It's got flavour. Let's find some of them malts then. It is malty, it's sweet, a little bit bready, a little bit biscuity, but this beer is all about the hops for me. And it, to be honest, I'm quite... It's never struck me before. Okay, we've had their porter, we've had a few other beers from from Anchor, the California Lag is another one. The Steam Beer, of course, it's a, it's a classic of theirs. 
but I've never ever sat down and thought, do Anchor brew an IPA? And I wonder why I've never thought that. I wonder if it's because a lot of their beers are sessionable, apart from their old foghorn, that's, that's a 10% barley wine. But with Anchor, it, it's, they, they brew a great porter, they brew a great lager, they brew some great ales, and you think, okay, they're a, they're a brewery that, that likes to produce session beers. But oh no, not with this, not with this. I suppose, when I say session beer, in the UK, session beer is between 4 and 5%. So when I mean session beer, I mean that ABV. Of course, a 5.9%, 6% beer or an IPA is just about sessionable, but you're not going to get as many in. Uh, we'd like to drink quite a bit of beer here in the UK. As do I'm, I'm pretty sure you'd like to drink a lot of beer in America too, or whatever you're watching this review. Uh, so, beer in the glass, let's have a little look at the, the them little nice bubbles. Rock the beer back and forth. The bubbles are chasing that head up. The head's kept nicely. It's really kept nicely as I've been drinking the beer. It's been a one finger solid head all the way down. Great lacing on the glass. We can really whisk this beer up now and get the aroma. It's like candied fruit as well. There's a candied fruit aspect of this beer. Candied fruit, candied kind of them candied candied lemon pops you get, them sweets. I am stoked by this beer. I'm absolutely uh, over the moon because it's a beer that I've had for a little while and it's been a beer that I've kind of just left in the cupboard. I thought I'll, I'll review that another day. It's been one of those surprise beers for me and this is what I was talking about earlier on with rape beer or beer advocate or untapped now on your mobile is that yeah they're great I participate in untapped I really like untapped but if I was to sit and read through rape beer regarding this beer I would know exactly what it was and the surprise element would have would have been non-existent now standing here today I, I can say bang that beer has, has absolutely caught me by surprise it's really good let's rate it That's a very, very solid 8 out of 10 beer all day long. 8 out of 10 for Anchor Liberty Ale, San Francisco, 5.9% uh, ABV. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.